There's a lot of talk about your footwork. Uh, Coach Borges was talking about how something Coach Holmes, that those are things that you're trying to work on. Is it something that you realize almost instantly after you throw the ball, or is it something you see on film more? How does that? Uh, yeah, I think I, right off top when I see it and then when I make a throw, I know it's it's because my favorite. I just gotta get keep getting better at it, keep is, growing. Is that because you need time, or because someone you feel like the rush is coming? Or what do you no, I just I just my feet. I get happy feet, I guess you could say. <laughs> what do you feel like that happens? Um, I'm just trying to get used to it. Something that you gotta get used to. It take time. Is it hard? I mean, I assume you don't want to be thinking about your footwork either too much, right? You need to be instinctive. Yeah, you don't want to. Yeah, you don't want to keep thinking about it. You just want to just go out there and just let it flow. How much? So that's why that's why practice make perfect. How much do you think you are thinking about it? Uh, I think about it all the time in practice, but during, during the game, it's just like we gotta just go with it, you know. Before last Saturday, did you? Think that there was going to be games this year where you would have 25, 26 carries? Uh, we get in the full game, it's just whatever it takes to win, you know, so that's what happens. Do you feel any more sore after a game like that where you carry the ball so much? Or? No, it's just, <laughs> I really, I didn't feel that bad. I felt pretty good. It seemed like um, on some of the longer runs you were more uh, quick to get out of bounds or avoid taking a, a hit. Um, is that something that you guys have worked on a lot? Uh, because there were some instances last year where you got dinged up in situations like that. Yeah, I mean, my teammates, everybody been telling me just uh, be smart about the situation. I mean, if you have to take a hit, just get out of bounds. Are you enjoying the Twitter lifestyle now? Oh my God, <laughs> I don't even know how to tweet. I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to learn this. I just made it, I don't know. <laughs> Were you surprised with the reaction that it got? <laughs> a little bit. I mean, I didn't think I was gonna get. I didn't think too many people was gonna uh, notice it. And then next thing you know, it was like we was in a class, and they was just like, "Man, a lot of people starting to follow you." And then I get a call from JD, and JD's like, "What's going on? You got a Twitter?" And I was just like, "Oh man, yeah, I have one." <laughs> I mean, it's not a big deal because I don't. I don't say crazy stuff anyway. So, <laughs> did you turn? To, I, this is maybe an odd question, did you like turn the notifications in your email off or did it just kind of, like you opened up your email and it like was 30 pages of? <laughs> uh, I, I sent it to an email that I don't use a lot, so. Let's <laughs> 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 just say that. Denard, when you guys uh, go more to, to the spread look, um, in, in practice, do you ever go to Coach Borges and say this, Maybe this play worked really well last year. Can, can we try running it? Uh, no, I just uh, Coach Borges is a great uh, officer coordinator, so he just go off what what he liked doing. I mean, he he watched some of the film last year. And he took some stuff out. I mean, he's a great coordinator, so that's what <coughs> officer coordinators do. So even if you run the same plays as you did last year, maybe a couple of them, does he coach you differently about what to look for, or does it kind of? Uh, he basically do the same thing they was teaching me last year. Talked before the season about wanting to be more vocal and be more of a leader and serve. Have you done that, or is it just when well, you're in the season, you're just kind of backing up? Oh yeah, we. I'm still vocal. I mean, we every day in practice. Uh, I mean, we had to bring energy yesterday because you know everybody's been saying we've been starting off slow. So yesterday was like, let's, let's go, let's go have fun, let's go play football. I mean, we got another opportunity to go out there and practice again. So. Let's go have fun. Is it general or are you being specific with certain guys and, and doing more teaching that way? Uh, like just that everybody, just everybody. I mean, we we got a chance to go out there and play football. So, I mean, I mess with the D linemen every day in the stretch line, so they always give me crap and stuff. Though. So it's always just fun going out there and just being with my teammates and we just have fun out there. What stands out about this defense? Oh man, they uh, they got some great guys on the team. I mean, they do the defense coordinators are part of the genius at the defense they run. I mean, they they throw a lot of stuff at you and uh, they send a lot of guys blessing and it's kind of it's kind of crazy defense. I mean, have you seen a defense that compares to it? Oh man, I can't really compare them. I mean, because they move around, everybody hustles to the ball. I mean. Is that great defense? Is it hard to pick up? I mean, when you, when you're looking and trying to get a read, is it hard to kind of pick up what they're doing just because they disguise it pretty well? Or uh, I mean, they, they good at disguising. I mean, it's all about uh, where my guys are gonna be at and who I think will be open. It's a pre-snap read, 
And then it's all unfold when you get the ball. So you just make sure you keep your eyes downfield and trust the protection. What can you guys do to build more of a consistent uh, short to mid-range passing game? Uh, I don't know. We could do a lot of things. I mean, but we just got to go out there and do it. That's all. I mean, we've been doing the practice. We just got to show it. Bernard, do you feel more comfortable running the read option this year? Uh, do you think you've gotten better at it at all? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, once you get it under your belt, then you do it again. I mean, of course, you're going to be better at it because practice made perfect. There's been a lot of balance between the receivers. No one's caught more than three or four balls in a game. It spreads out between a lot of guys. Is that just the case because you're going through the progressions more in the offense, or is it oh, yeah. they're doing? Or? Oh, yeah. I mean, you go through the progression, and once you see a guy open, you got to give him the ball. I mean, it's just, you know, uh, he told us to go through our reads, and then who will have open, just give him the ball. That's all. Last year, it was because more guys had certain guys had more catches. Was that just because you had more of a trust with them? Is that the difference? No, it was more of a the read. Same thing. I mean, coach used to tell us to just make our read. Who was open? Give it to him.